Over the past decade, I found that I didn't have time to work on the things that I wanted to, or even to have the time to relax. But gradually, I was drained of the will to live, which is not something that I would wish upon anyone. So I made time to relax and to follow my own pursuits, but what did I have to give up in order to do so? Hygiene was not an option due to becoming smelly and unhealthy. Work and school was not an option due to the aforementioned punishments. Socialising? I never really did much of that anyway, and so to cut it out completely would simply mean I had no friends. Sleep? Well, it was easy to cut back on, and to start with, I always felt fine after a sleepless night. My mind actually felt sharper for some reason. This is what I mean by sleep being a luxury, as in order to do it, I would have to cut back on any other key element of my life. But now, I can't sleep well. In fact, I think I'm likely an insomniac, and every morning I wake up feeling rather dire. My mind is dull, and I struggle to focus for long. This makes every element of my life more difficult. And I'm not alone in this. Far from it, in fact. Many find themselves sleep-deprived, and thus struggle to focus during the day, and prompting a frequent necessity for naps. While a lot of people's sufferings, especially students, are likely from spending too many nights out and full of alcohol, not everyone's sleeplessness is like that. The University of Michigan, America, for example, apparently has people who sacrifice their sleep to study. This is something I know I've done in the past, and many of my peers have as well. This is a terrible necessity, and the gradual increase in the severity of sleep deprivation could lead to other health issues. The NHS webpage, link in the description, states that regular poor sleep puts you at risk of serious medical conditions, including obesity, heart disease, and diabetes and it shortens your life expectancy, which is worrying and a clear sign that it's not a sustainable way for us to live. It could also spell disaster if the majority of the population end up this way. Now, you may think that the likelihood of the majority of people in the country ending up like this is very slim. However, there are multiple sources that show the percentage of people in the UK suffering from insomnia or other sleep-related illnesses are not negligible. The Sleep Council say that 27% of people sleep poorly on a regular basis, with 70% of them sleeping less than the recommended 8 hours a night. A report by the UK's Mental Health Foundation has suggested that 62% of UK citizens aren't good sleepers, and in a survey conducted by Aviva, 37% of Britons said that they feel as though they do not get enough sleep. So what can we do? This is a question I do not have an answer for, because sleeping pills don't work, well, at least not for everyone, and they won't help stop new cases from emerging as time goes on, and the cause will be left untreated. Maybe not in all cases, but in many, the cause of sleep deprivation is the sheer amount of work that needs to be done in a small period of time by everyone in today's competitive society. I would thusly say that, like in everything, it is best to tackle the root of the problem in order to prevent it from reoccurring in the future. But how to entirely change the structure of society? I'll leave that in the hands of the government, though if people are interested then I will look into what I think should be done, and the best suggestion, given the information that I can find, to help with this problem. I'd like to thank you for watching and please share so that hopefully this video will prevent someone else from falling into the deadly trap that is seeing sleep as a luxury. And please treat it as the requirement that it is for life.
Hi, um, thank you sincerely for watching this video, regardless of where it is that you watched it. For anyone who doesn't know, I am a UK philosophy student, and my goal in life is, predominantly, to make other people happy, um, and improve the lives of people I care about. So, I try to do that in many ways throughout my social life. However, this is my YouTube channel where I post this. Regardless of where you watch it here or not, though, thank you. Um, but my YouTube channel is reviews, and if you could try and find it and subscribe or support me in other ways, then please do. You'll find information there. Um, and yeah, because I want to help people, which it's hard to do as a singular person. Especially like as a student, <laughs> without you know sacrificing my own happiness, which obviously wouldn't be very good in the long term for helping other people. Chances are I turn into a bitter, bad person. So instead of doing that, I um, am asking the internet for help. And you know, as I said, you can find me my YouTube channel, which is probably be the best way to help. I plan on putting out more stuff similar to this on there hopefully monthly, but I'm not sure whether that is something I'll be able to keep up. But if not, then hopefully at least twice a year. Anyway, as I said, details on my YouTube channel, but my Patreon is patreon.com forward slash James does stuff, if you would prefer to just check that. And regardless, I'll catch you cats on the flip-flop. Goodbye.